I've got a couple of narrow cupboards um, like this. They're going to go behind the seats. One of them we're using for hanging space, but this one we wanted to have a, a narrow pantry. Now the thing about narrow pantries is you can get them in two tier and I couldn't find where to get a third shelving and they're also a bit shorter than this so we wanted something as tall as possible with three shelves in it. These are the tracks um, that I have left over from the drawer cabinet. These are the tracks that I have left over from the filing cabinet that I made the gas tank. Uh, or the gap. These are the tracks. These, these are the drawer runners that I had left over from the filing cabinet when I made um, the gas tank. These are, these are the drawer runners. These are the drawer runners from the filing cabinet that I had left over after I made the gas tank or the gas. These are <laughs> these are the drawer runners that were left over from the filing cabinet, which from which I made the gas tank. So now I'm going to use them in here. Um, I've practiced on a board seems to work so I'm now I'm going to try and install it. So what I've done, so I've manufactured this just from parts from Bunnings. Um, I've secured the tracks for the runners along the back here. Um, and then secured the baskets to the tracks um, with these brackets. The idea is that this will sit in here like that and slide down. All right, let's see if it works. <laughs> I thought I put those tracks on the wrong side, so I swapped them over. And now I've found that I've actually had this the wrong way around. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to take them off and try again. Third time lucky. <sighs> okay, third time lucky. Let's see if it fits now. Now I had the box the wrong way around. So now I'm going to do it the fourth time. Fourth time lucky. I'm getting very tired. Okay. Now I'm going to try and fit it for the fourth time.
Okay, finally, there you have it. DIY pantry cabinet. Yep, seems to work. <laughs> 